All right. I don't know about you guys, but I think this teensy tiny itty bitty adorable red panda not only ooh guess thinks that uh, the tickets are underpriced you say let me just fix that i was just thinking we were running a little low on money so that's very helpful but i think that this teeny tiny little red panda needs a lot of plants uh we definitely weren't planning on putting red pandas in here but actually that makes me wonder can one actually mix the red panda with some of the other animals because if that's the case. A simian! Just one of them! Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna actually grab that. And we have a male red panda. And why not? I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but I I smush a lot of animals together that you wouldn't expect to see. So why not go ahead and why we could even put in like a, a literal giant panda. What is stopping us? <laughs> Uh, practicality perhaps but how interesting would that be to see a red panda walking alongside a giant panda while well, there's a bunch of simians floating in the air so you know what we're doing it I probably am gonna regret that decision but that's fine we're definitely gonna need to go ahead and expand this area preemptively because we're about to have a lot more members to this this here like zoo family incoming uh, but I think that this is gonna be kind of cool to be honest. Uh, let's actually make Oh Look at that and now we just got to celebrate because we have eight habitat species uh, But Let's actually like make this Path. Oh, I see what happened here. I thought that was too suspiciously easy for adding to a a barrier Just saying uh, Let's actually expand it really quickly. I don't normally pause because I make myself have to work much harder for my my pennies but we're gonna come in and we're gonna expand this habitat like so right up to here and then we're gonna swap over to glass and then we're gonna curve it around here like so and just have this massive giant organic looking leaf shape. I'm definitely putting a positive spin on that. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it is climb proof and carry on with our life because I think it's more exciting when you don't pause for everything. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what happens if we have this be the Panda Play Park with some simians added in just because we can. In fact, we're gonna really focus on that species now. So let's put a filter. Oh, there's two more, yes! Okay, uh, I don't know if we're about to have enough. Of, we're now out of conservation credits. So we're gonna need to do some breeding in order to get conservation credits to adopt anything of like note from here on out. Uh, but I think that this is going to be quite interesting and I kind of want to assign a keeper specifically to this spot because we already have so many busy keepers. So welcome in to Friday! Friday, one of our amazing patrons. I actually had a cat I loved named Friday. He was my soul cat. Like, you know, when you only have, you have a animal that you just bonded to at a time in your life that was like the animal. That was Friday for me. Uh, so we're gonna actually name you, um, gosh, like park manager, yoga teacher, yoga teacher. <laughs> Why not? I kind of want you to like, no, 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 let's do it. Let's do something more playful than yoga. Let's do finger painting. Finger painting teacher Friday. And I'm going to have the work zone for you be like right here in this area. And you can like rest over here until I get you a new area. And this is going to be Panda Pond Play Park. And we're gonna add in, not this one, just that, that speaker. Okay, there we go. And so we're gonna have you get trained and you're gonna be assigned to Panda Pond Play Park. I'm gonna pick you up again because anything else would be a little bit too, there we go. All right. We have a panda! We have Simeon! We have a lot of people who are like, what is happening here? What 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 chaotic like mishmash has Siri unleashed upon this area now? Well friends, come one, come all, come and see and drop your, your cash while you're here. Uh just saying. Cause you want you wanna help conservation? <sighs> 
I used to think like, you know, people say money is the root of all evil and that can still like have some merit, but in the current like post-capitalistic apocalypse that we live in, being able to go ahead and have finances is kind of like having blood. Uh, it just keeps things functional. So donate to the zoo. <laughs> Oh, listen to their call. That is so cool. Okay, we absolutely need to make it so that these guys are a little happier. They need more space, but I think the space they need is actually the up space. Oh, and a little bit more land, but they need a lot more up as well. So let me see what I can provide to these guys for climbing. We could do trees, but I also want to see like what climbable things we have. Oh, that's a beautiful animal bridge, but it's a little bit big. That's the Eiffel Tower. I, you know, sometimes you just jump in. <laughs> you don't really know what you're doing, but you just kind of jump in and have a party uh, while you're hanging out in the steam, the steam gallery. And when you walk out the other side, you're kind of shocked at what you put in there. Guess think the tickets are underpriced. I'm gonna fix that right now because we are gonna need more cash beans. Like I just said, it's the blood of our zoo. Let's be $24. Ooh, TR is about to mature. Oh, that's wonderful. We're actually gonna move him immediately into the other area. He's one of our best Przewalskis we have and he can become a good mate. Oh, and we need a vet to come and heal this one because she was actually a rescue. And the red panda has low welfare. I'm working on it, guys. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay, let's get some climbing things in here. What can I find? This is a little desert box that's climbable, I suppose, but it shouldn't be in there. Fantastic climbing tree house. Oh, that's so cool. Why did I have to put something in that needs something long? Okay, I could do this. All right, you know what? We're gonna pause again because I really wanna do this fantastic climbing tree house, but we're gonna need to edit the barrier. I never usually let myself do this because it feels like cheating to me. But if this was real life, I suppose you would just put the animals in like their quarantine zone for a little bit. If this was real life, nobody would ever let me put this in, but we're gonna put that moment aside. All right, and let me find things I have favorited. I want this thing, look at it. It's awesome. This looks like a creation that should be in a play park. Oh my gosh. Please let me let these guys climb it. Can can they climb it? Alright, let's see. Habitat. Traversable area. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so exciting, you guys! So now they have this huge, like, upward area they can go. That makes me so happy. Why do we have so many? And oh, we have a lot of inflection points of escape. That's why. All right, we're gonna just come back over here. Phew, there we go. Okay. It has not escaped, you fools! It's a red panda! Who's afraid of a red panda? I am indignant for the sake of our little our little animals. Oh, I'm gonna have to pay a thousand bucks to capture it, even though we don't need to. And Bergie's about to have another baby. Heck, I want to spend like offspring imminent. I mean, policy is we try to spend a little bit of time with our lovely horses when they have their babies. I would really like to add in. Oh, there's the new baby! All right, poppies it is! <laughs> Hello, little one! It's a little girl, you guys! And once again, unfortunately, her fertility and immunity is really low. I am concerned about the future of our Prozwalskis if these are the kinds of genes that they have. Darn. Also, we're going to name this little one Window after window maker so this is going to be window i double triple check to make sure that wasn't widow but it's window maker so window welcome i'm sorry that you're not the super healthiest baby Przewalski, but we'll get to the bottom of the genetic issues we're having in a little bit here uh meanwhile i think everybody has calmed down 
And I think our troop is actually headed over. Are they going to climb this? Because that would be so cool to watch. <gasps> they are! A little imperfectly, but they've got the spirit. Look at that! Oh, this is so cool. I could never build something this cool. That's why you hire, like, architects. <laughs> okay, so Timur has low welfare. Oh, because we don't have any toys or anything. Heck, and the space is not well. Oh my gosh. Okay, I did not think that through. That's that's absolutely for true. All right, hang on. Once again, don't normally do this, but we're gonna do like a huge chunk of the Przewalski's extra space back here, because this is kind of like our extra herd that I'm kind of keeping to the sides, mostly out of curiosity for the genetic variations that we might be able to get. So, let's grab, here we go, come on, this way, this way, come on, Fence, come with me, don't go that way. Here we go. And we'll add in some enrichments for them in just a little bit here. But I like the idea. I mean, people can come and look at another herd of Przewalskis. Granted, it's not as scenic of a beautiful Vista viewpoint as the other ones. Oh, it's not, it's not closed. <laughs> not closed. <laughs> eh. Oh, for crying out loud. There. Okay. And then, yeah, these guys are actually pretty darn miserable. They have a lot more space now, which is good. They need enrichment. And then I need to make sure that we have somebody assigned to taking care of them at some point. There's a lot of animals that suddenly need my very specific attention. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Let's see. Przewalskis. Have we unlocked anything? We may have actually unlocked some new things for our Przewalskis as well. Good. There is some a keeper taking care of these guys. We're going to do a feeding station for these ones, kind of in the middle of the area, just because. And then we can actually put in a large shelter at the back, kind of tucked into the trees. Can they get into that? Habitat, hard shelter. They can. They don't think it's enough for everybody, though. But because this is kind of like off, off exhibit sort of zone, I have no problem with putting more down and then oh, there are so many oh they can run through the little plant screen oh oh i'm gonna have so much fun with that our prisvoltsky is running through our like abandoned olive orchard i'm i'm completely happily here for that all right we'll put in some enrichment they're now completely content with life so i'm gonna add in okay me oh mechanic research is complete all right that's taken care of Yay! We're learning more souvenir shops! Also wonderful. There's no ATMs! People are complaining about no ATMs! <gasps> yes! Also the Amira Leopards, Bird Wrangler Hannah, good job! If you could maybe now wrangle some more of the bird. Um, but actually we need a lot more on the simians. Simians, so we'll work on that. And we'll work on the ATM thing in just a little bit here too. Uh, but back to these guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so let's actually focus on maybe plants for the simians for just a little bit. And I think we could probably put in more water spots now that we have expanded. Yeah, we'll have a nice pond right over here. Maybe a nice deep pond. Now that we have gone ahead and expanded where they can run and walk and play and then we'll pull up some of their plants and just make kind of like a fun little uh definitely the bamboo would be awesome it would be really nice if we could replace like behind the bamboo all of that with rocks so it was just like a beautiful rocky wall of bamboo that would be delightful i don't i hope the bamboo isn't strong enough that these guys are just going to be like and now i wiggle out I leave. So we'll have a bamboo forest that one day I dream of replacing 
Like, if it's thick enough, can the animals not walk through? And we could, like, remove the fencing, because that would be really cool. And put down a knoll barrier instead. Yeah, we'll have bamboo at the back. Oh, listening to these guys yell is so cool. This is awesome, you guys. I love the, the new upgrades we've had. And now that we have this many animals, we need to work on getting their um, enrichment up. Oh, the panda's having a good time. Splashing down in the little pond. We can work with that. Let me come on over. We'll get some rough rock kind of in this area. And then I think some nice soil to sort of indicate these spots will make everybody a little bit happier. And we need to get like some educators over here because I bet the educators would have a lot to say about the assortment of miscellaneous creatures I have yeeted into the same zone. Maybe I don't want to hear what they would have to say, but oh, Anastasia's about to have her baby. This is going to be, I think, the final horse that is going to really make us question if we should if we should switch out our current breeding stallion because if this is the third baby who is infertile and sickly we clearly don't have a healthy herd in in progress so let me pull up the next comment from our random comment generator and we're gonna go ahead and now we have got a healthy female Woo! okay so now we have cassandra Cassandra, welcome! I'm so glad to see that our- oh, oh dear, inbreeding, inbreeding! Yee! Phew! But I'm so glad to see that we're getting at least a little bit of progress over there. Uh, meanwhile- yay, Jalen is expecting offspring now! That's wonderful! Uh, and, and Anastasia has had her baby, which is great. Ah, alright, so this is progressing. <gasps> Peach was pregnant?! And Peach just had a baby?! Are you kidding?! You guys! We just had a baby, baby, itty bitty Amur leopard born, and oh my goodness. So his name, I want to name him after some sort of fruit, because we have mango, we have peach. Um, okay, and then the next name is actually Suncatcher on the random comments generator, so I, I sort of love that name. So I'm going to have like Suncatcher, Suncatcher, what did I, Suncatcher pineapple? Suncatcher, uh, what's the last fruit I ate? A nectarine. So suncatcher nectarine. <laughs> Cause that just sounds really like a poem in itself, doesn't it? It sounds like a poem of summer and I love it. So let's see where we're at now. Now we need to release one habitat species to the wild. Uh, one different habitat species to the wild. I think so far it has primarily been a bunch. Have our so I don't think we've had, yeah, we've had zero offspring from our Oryx. We might want to work on that. We've had offspring with our lovely flock of flamingos. Was Daisy born here? Was she born here? She's amazing. She was actually born here and she's a gold star flamingo, but we're going to release her into the wild because boom, that just completed that challenge. So now we just need to get our conservation. Our conservation just hit two. Oh, we've almost won it. We've almost shown everyone we deserve to be able to have this area, friends. All we need to do now is create three more Vista points where everybody can look at pretty, pretty, pretty things. Um, and in my opinion, that should be really easy. And then we just need to replace everything with renewables and then we'll be free! Free to claim control of this entire endeavor and add whatever animals we want into it, which I think has so much potential for excitement and many more herds of wild Przewalski horses. Oh, oh man, I guess if I want those in franchise mode, I'm gonna have to create a franchise zoo though. Ah, so many decisions to make. But all right, friends, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. It is definitely getting very interesting and I have fallen in love with Turtle Rock, so we're gonna keep working on it. If you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.